Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina93 here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic Generations. And I'm doing this to celebrate Sonic's 30th anniversary this year. This game is almost 10 years old. If you're curious which version I'm playing, it is the Xbox 360 version. This is the digital version. I got this uh, for free on Xbox Live. I already have the game for the PS3 right here. So yeah, at least I got it so I can, so I can do my Let's Play of Sonic Generations and you know, so many good memories with this. And of course, th this is the anniversary title, so why not? So without further ado, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, new game. Yes. Of course, just like Sonic 1, you start at Green Hill Zone, and this is the level that every Sonic fan knows, that everybody knows, for sure. And you start off with Classic Sonic. As you can see right here, he plays just like in Sega Genesis games. You know, Sonic One is not like uh, my one of my favorites, but it is very, it is such a good game. It is a game that it still doesn't have uh, the spin dash, and also we don't see tails and knuckles till till their successors come. In terms of his gameplay, I mean, not as good as the Sega Genesis titles and especially Mania. But this is so much better than Sonic Forces, that's for sure. Because in Sonic Forces, it wasn't that fun. But in this, at least it's fun. And the best way to get the S rings is you have to go as much faster as you can and also you don't have to die just once. The Xbox 360 version looks kind of blurry and pixelated. From what I'm seeing on my TV. The PS3 and the PC versions, they don't look that... They don't look like that. They don't look that pixelated and also blurry. But this is the Xbox 360 version, so... What can we do? He'll be here any second! Hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! It is cool that the cake has a Sonic Team logo Aww, on it. You guys. <laughs> I mean, on that game, he's like 20 years old. I mean, the it's franchise kind of was 20 years old. You. On 2011. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Whoa. Like it? I love it! I imagine that the chili dog is so good. I love chili dogs. And the chili dogs at Sonic, they're so good. Hmm? Such a coincidence, huh? What's that? <laughs> and of course, here's Time Eater. What's it doing? He's messing up the timelines and also the alternate timelines. Of course, he's sucking up everybody. Hey, yep. Not cool. It's no use. Help us, ¿Qué pasó? Te dije que al rato. Es que estoy grabando.
I'm sorry about that. Of course, this is a hub world, the white space. Everything is white. And as you can see, Green Hill, it is very whitish. <clears throat> now we play as Modern Sonic, this time. As you can see, he plays just like um, Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors. Known as the Boost Gameplay. Okay, we get it in the shower. Yes, we know. Shut up. Despite seeing Green Hill Zone more times, it looks so good. Trickstar. Of course, it's not exactly the same because this is a different letter design. Break the bridge if you want to by stopping it. The drift is back to, and he does in, in a spin, spin ball. Form. When you finish doing a trick, I like the way Sonic poses, like he does in Sonic Adventure, like this. You know, I cannot uh, bring out my leg uh, on this. Because I'm recording myself playing this game. <laughs> Here we will rescue Tails. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. At least you're alive. When you finish both acts, uh, you rescue a Sonic's friend. Is it me? Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. But this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Eh, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, Chemical but plant. they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Here he is. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. He's unaware that that's the younger version of Sonic. Hmm. Known as Classic Sonic. And I like that Sonic brings up the, the references of Sonic and the Secret Rings and Colors. And you know, Colors just came out, Colors Ultimate just came out. But you know, something's wrong with, with the game itself. I don't know what Sega was thinking. By releasing this way. Okay, next is Chemical Plant. Yeah, just like the older classic games, um, 
You have both acts for, for one level. Okay, first with Classic Sonic. Yeah, this is a game where where Tails is introduced and also this spin dash. Sonic 2 is like a better version of Sonic 1, basically. But it is such a great game and it is one of my favorite games of all time. One of, one of my favorite Sega Genesis titles of all time. Between this and Sonic 3 and Aquas. They're my favorites. I can see that the spin dash is very powerful in this game. And yes, the red rings are back from Sonic Colors. You see those red rings nowadays uh, with the current Sonic games right now. The bad thing is, for Sonic games, Sonic cannot swim. And you have to act so quickly so it can grab the bubble, so it could breathe. You know what I'm saying. I like that the flag pose comes alive when Sonic does like this. Yeah, like, the points don't matter. Like I was saying, the best way to get the S ranks is to go quickly and not die once. Next for Modern Sonic. I mean, the remix for Modern Sonic doesn't sound that bad, but I prefer the classic Sonics. I don't know, to me, that does not sound like a chemical plant. I mean, at least in my opinion. I like that pose. This game brings so many good memories.
There we go. plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that I... pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. For real. It is sad that after this we don't get to see more cutscenes. After the levels, I mean, it was planned, but they got caught, so they so it could arrive just in time on November 2011. I mean, like, seriously? I mean, seriously, Sega and Sonic Team? We just rescued Amy Rose, Sonic's self-proclaimed girlfriend. <clears throat> you saved me, Sonic. I was afraid I'd never be able to flirt with you again. <laughs> Wonderful. He's not happy to see her. <laughs> okay. I mean, Amy Rose got introduced on Sonic CD, but it kind of makes sense because of Metal Sonic, who we're gonna confront later. And this is Sky Sanctuary. This comes from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This is the last level uh, of the entire game. And the reason I call it Sonic 3 and Knuckles is because they both were planned to be a single game, but they couldn't. So they decided to, to release it separately, and by combining both cartridges, um, you, you play the full game. It is like a sort of like DLC kind of. I could say. But either way, such a great game. I mean, I didn't grow up with classic Sonic. I grew up with modern Sonic, um, first with Sonic Adventure 2. But I did play the Sega Genesis titles. are structured in generations. And remember guys, this is this ain't a speedrun, so sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Lesson learned, I don't have to spin dash all the time. Those three rows, each one has a red ring. If I didn't die once, I would have got an S ring. But, okay. Oh well. Yeah, when you finish Act 1, I mean, you don't restore it completely until you finish both acts. You restore the entire world, the entire level, completely. Okay, next for Modern Sonic. for a classic Sonic and modern Sonic for Sky Sanctuary. For modern Sonic, it is more modernized the remix. While the classic ones, they feel more like Genesis-esque music. Grab the one life, but we can get more lives later in the game, so we don't have to worry about that. I just couldn't reach the cloud, I don't know why. It makes no sense. Oh, come on!
Ugh. I don't know what. Hey! Oh well. I apologize for that. I don't know what happened. It's been a long time I haven't played Sonic Generations. So, I apologize the way I play it, guys. Hey! At least we didn't die once, but however, if it wasn't for for that part I got stuck on, all because of a stupid cloud, I would have got an S rank. But oh well. I mean I ain't perfect, like everybody else aren't perfect. We all make mistakes. And here's Knuckles the Echidna. The Protector Master Emerald, and he doesn't do it anymore. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed it, but it's good to have my sanctuary back. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's weird that he doesn't protect um, the Master Emerald anymore. After, um... Sonic Adventure 2, I believe. I mean, he doesn't do that anymore for some strange reason. We just completed the levels throughout this the Genesis era. So we have to leave it here. See you in part two, everybody.